Welcome back to part 3 of our video series Silence Your Creality 3D Printer. In the previous episodes we changed the hot end fan with the silent noise blocker XM2 and added a part cooling fan to the Creality Ender. We uploaded the Marlin firmware to the MKS Gen 1.4 with the TMC2208 stepper motor drivers, which we're going to install to the printer in this episode. But before we start, in this episode we're dealing with serious electricity, so always take care that your power supply remains unplugged as long as you're working on the printer. Always connect your wires properly and rather check them twice. I am not a professional electrician, so if you want to use these videos as tutorial, you're acting at your own risk. In the next few minutes I'm going to show you how you exchange your Ender stock mainboard and display with the MKS Gen 1.4. Since the board is bigger than the stock one, you're gonna need a new housing. You'll find links to all the things I use down in the description. In order to open up the Ender, we need to unscrew the three screws holding the case onto the base plate. But we leave the four screws holding the LCD screen untouched. We can now lift the case to see into the heart of the printer. After that we remove the cables from the board one by one, starting with the LCD screen and the power switch, followed by the stepper motors, the end stops and the thermistors. I left the cables from power supply, heated bed and hot end in place for now. Now we tip over the printer to remove every screw related to the main board until the board comes off and we can set it aside. We'll end up with the naked base plate after that. Since our brand new MKS Gen 1.4 is much bigger than the stock board, we're going to need a bigger case and an extension for the base plate. Well, I'm sorry for the bad lighting quality and camera angle here, but basically what we do now is to put the wires from the power supply, hot end, the heated bed and our newly supplied part cooling fan into the appropriate labeled terminal connectors on the MKS Gen 1.4. We connect the yellow wire of the hot end thermistor into the white connector and the white wire of the heated bed thermistor into the black connector. Don't forget to plug in your hot end fan to the 12 volt pins in the upper left part of the board. Then we put in the TMC2208 stepper motor drivers one by one. Remember, black goes to black and blue goes to green. Now we plug the cables of the stepper motors into the appropriate connectors. X axis to red, Y axis to blue, Z axis to green and extruder to black. According to the color code of the stepper motors, we now plug the end stops. Make sure you only use the plus and minus labeled pins, which are the ones on the left in this video. The last thing we have to connect is the display. The display I chose has two connectors. It's a bit of trial and error which connector of the display goes to which connector on the board. Because sometimes the manufacturers don't take correct labeling too serious. But I was lucky and figured it on the first try. Now we're already all said and done. Wasn't that easy? But before we start printing, we should do some tests. Check if all your axes move into the right direction with the knob of your display. If not, you can invert the movement of your stepper motor direction in your Marlin firmware. Check back to part 2 of this video series. Also check if your end stops work correctly by pushing them while back movement of one of your axes. If nothing is moving at all, try moving while pushing your end stop. 
If you see movement, simply turn your end stop plug 100 degrees. Now we're almost ready to go. Now put a 60mm x 60mm silent fan into the lid of the case and fasten it tightly. Connect it to the 12 volt pins. Case your display and mount it to the lid. Close the case and you're ready to go. Enjoy your silent reality printer.